What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to John Frusciante. Yes, indeed. John Frusciante fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from President-elect George Kirby. And President-elect George Kirby wanted to see me write to this song by John Frusciante called As Can Be. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, wait a second, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by, oh, here we go again. Dr. Rockenstein. Nice. And the video has 170,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. John Frusciante, as can be. Cool. Uh, I'd be lying if I said that I have no hesitations about pushing this play button. And I know this is going to be a great song. I, I'd be lying if I said those things. Uh, I recognize this album cover. <laughs> uh, I forgot what was it. Arab or Beach Arab, I think is what the name of the song was. That was just horrible. Um, I have a feeling this comes off one of those albums. So if I was to sit here and say, I'm looking forward to this, uh, I, I'd be lying, guys. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm nervous. I am absolutely nervous about pushing this play button. But uh, got to do it. Gotta do it. So I, let's let's do what we can. Let's do it for George Kirby. Let let's do it. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That acoustic guitar is so out of tune. I can't even tell you what string it is. It's his G string. The G string is so out of tune. 
It's so flat. It's almost a G flat. Oh, God. And what is up with this of what is up with this nonsense of yeah, this guitar solo going on, and then the guitar solo comes down in the mix, and the acoustic guitar comes up and literally buries the guitar solo. Why? Why? Why would you do that? That makes no sense whatsoever. Just, I don't, oh, God, this is one of those songs. This is one of those songs. This is, <sighs> this is it. This is my nightmare. Kids, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. I, I swear, just, just don't do them. Oh, God, this is so hard to listen to. The shameful thing is he's a really good guitar player. He really is. I've seen him and heard him with the Red Hot Chili Peppers do some great things. Some great things. Some downright amazing things. And to hear him doing that, doing this, and putting this out just so he can make some quick money so he can, so he can go and get himself nice and loaded, I just... It's tragic and it's shameful. Both at the same time. How much longer? Oh, God. I don't want to push play. We got a minute and 40 to go. I really don't. I, I. I don't want to push play. I really don't. I really don't want to listen to this anymore. Um. It's absolute garbage. Um. Uh, I feel like I'm wasting my time. I, I could be doing something far more worthwhile. Like, you know. Alphabetizing my sock drawer, or um, you know, I don't know. Uh, when maybe maybe windexing the the coffee table. Maybe that might be more more productive than this. More enjoyable. It would definitely be more enjoyable. Let's just get this over with. Ah. <laughs> over thank god oh jeez i don't even want to talk about this i, I just don't but i'm going to
I'll see you in the review and oh man, we'll we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was John Frusciante with As Can Be. This was a request from President-elect George Kirby. <sighs> Let's just get to it. Let's just get this over with. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 1.2. <laughs> yep. 1.2. Look, I, I don't like giving low scores. I really don't. But you know what? When they earn it, I'm going to give it to them. I am absolutely going to give it to them. And I'm going to make no apologies for it. Let me tell you why. Why? This was garbage. This was absolute garbage. This song was horrible. It was horrible. It was awful. It was terrible. There was really nothing worthwhile about that entire song. I'm gonna be honest with you folks, I really wanted to put this down to zeros. I really did. I, I was thinking about giving this like a 0 0.8, 0 0.7, somewhere in there. The only redeeming thing about this song was the guitar solos in the beginning. Every once in a while, Every once in a while, there would be a guitar run. He, he would start a solo riff, a solo lick, and it sounded, it actually sounded really good. And I was like, okay, there's some hope. There's some hope here. Okay, let's see where this goes. Well, we didn't have to wait very long to see where it went. Let me tell you where it went. It went to the back of the bus while the out of tune acoustic guitar took over and buried it. Absolutely buried it. That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful to, to perform like that. Oh, God. Why? Why? Why would... Uh, that doesn't make any sense. None. Listen, I know. I know this album. I, I, know the one, I know the whole purpose of this album. I understand what the whole purpose of this album was. That does not give it the excuse, though, when it comes to quality i'm sorry look there are many musicians and non-musicians there have been actors who have done this who have released music albums and they release a crap album and they rely completely on the power of the recognition of their name to push that album just so they can make a quick buck And I'm sure in the comments, y'all gonna let me know about the actors I'm talking about. I know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna name names, but there are... Th there are three, four, four. No, there's five. There are five actors in particular that I'm thinking of um, that did this. And they're a horrible album. Not a single good song on the entire album. And they rely completely on their name to push it. Like I said, just so they, they can make a quick buck. In John Frusciante's play, in case, I know he was in a bad place. I know he was. You all have told me, okay? I do read the comments. So I understand he was not in a good place. I understand he wasn't thinking straight. I understand that he was desperate and he needed to make money as fast as he could, as much as he could, so that he could go out and buy more drugs. I get it. I understand, okay? But that does not excuse the hot mess that we heard i'm sorry that to me is not a good reason i understand that's the reason but i don't think it's a good one not for releasing this crap it's absolute absolute garbage um like i said the only thing redeeming about it were the guitar solos it's a real shame that that attitude acoustic decided to come up in the mix and bury them just when they were starting to get something going What's the matter with you? Soon as I heard the vocals come in, I was done. I was absolutely done. The vocals were so bad. They were so bad. They were so bad that I, I did something I have never done on this channel before. I have never taken my inners out, ever. That is the first time 
on this channel, in the history of this channel, that I've done that. Where I couldn't stand the song any longer. I literally took my inners out and put them on my desk. So I don't know what the last 30 some odd seconds sounded like. I, I have no idea. And to be perfectly honest with you folks, I don't care. I really don't. I am never listening to this ever again. And I really hope I don't have to be subjected to any more songs of these. I say these because I know there's more than one album out there where it was under these circumstances. So I heard some, I heard in the comments, people told me there were five albums they did like this. I heard three, I heard five. So, and those seem to be the two main numbers I would hear was three and five. I think somebody said four, but mostly it's been five with a few threes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's five. I really don't wanna hear anything else about those five albums. I really don't because <laughs> It's just gonna be more the same. It's gonna be more frustration and anger for me. And as a result, it's gonna end up in more low scores for a, let's be honest here, a very talented and very capable musician. I mean, he really is. We, we, we've seen him do some great things. I've heard him do some great things with some of, on his, on his, on his uh, solo work and with Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've seen both and to subject me to this just doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. The only thing I can think of is people like to watch me squirm. People like to watch me suffer. Well, congratulations, you you, you did it. You absolutely did it. Some men just want to watch the world burn. I squirmed and I suffered, and uh, I don't enjoy it. I do not enjoy it, um, but it is what it is. 1.2, that's where we're at. And I guess that's where we're gonna stay. I I really want to put it down the zeros, but the guitar solos did have some merit, so I'll leave it at that. 1.2 final score. I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of reactions, reviews, and rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope that I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.